Gospel of June the 10th, 2014. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything, but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, we were meditating on the program of the Lord. All that the Lord wants us to be, to be poor in spirit, to be a peacemaker, to give, to be witness of the truth and the love of the Lord. And today, the Lord increases His demands with two very important points to ponder. The first one, you are the salt of the earth. We can easily study scripture and believe that it was said to only those gathered around the Christ on that time, about 2000, almost 2000 years ago, and we would be greatly mistaken. For we come to the gospel with faith and read with faith and believe and know that these very words are spoken to you and me today. And the Lord is telling you, you and me. You are the salt of the earth. Now, the salt seasons the food, gives a good taste to life, but the salt also saves from corruption. Lest the food become corrupt if you put salt on it. For example, if you put salt on the meat, you can be, make beef jerky and it will not decompose. You can save it. So salt is very important and it's the same thing that we are to be. To be able to tell the others not what not to do and what to do according to the will of God. And not only tell but leave ourselves. Tell because we live in that same way. But if we lose our taste then we are no good for anything else. We are good to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. If we believe that just by being baptized and going to Mass, by just by carrying a big cross around us, we are saved, we are mistaken. We have to comply with being the salt of the earth. It is mandatory. The Lord is telling you and me. And that's a big compromise. The second one is even bigger. The first one is to remember that all throughout lives we have to remain being the salt of the earth. The second one is beautiful but even bigger, comp a bigger compromise. You are the light of the world. In the Gospel of John, the Lord himself calls himself, I am the light of the world. Now he's telling you and me, you are the, the light of the world. How come? It is not that we have the light by our own, even though the Spirit dwells in you and me, but that Spirit we have received from the Father and the Son, the fire, the Holy Spirit, that shines inside of you. It is not yours, but it is the reflection of the glory of God given to you and me. And that's the way that we are the light of the world. The Lord says, a city on a mountain cannot be hidden. And they don't light a lamp and put it into, under a bushel basket, but they put it on a lampstand so that it gives light to all in the house. And in the same way, your light must shine before others. So that seeing your good deeds it is not by the Jew words or mine. It is not by our poses or acts. 
like an acting thing, like if we were in a theater. No, it's not. It's by our everyday deeds. It's by our everyday life that we will give testimony of who we are, true children of God. And that means and that entails that we are not to rob, that we are not to lie, that we are not to have desires of others, especially that we should not have desires of a woman if we are married, that we should not have a desire to have pleasure on a man if we are married, other than our own, that we should not kill. And that we should not kill means not only killing with the knife or a handgun, but with killing with our words too. When we bully someone, you are killing his soul, your soul. And you are acting against the will of God. And you are becoming the Antichrist. Think about it. And teach about that too. When, you become, when we become greedy, when we become sad without cause, when we are in deep despair, because we forget that love, that God loves you. It is hard to become witness and to be lights for the other. But that's what the Lord wants you and me to be. So that when they see your good deeds, they will glorify your heavenly Father. May our, may our Father in heaven grant us his Holy Spirit in such a way that he might increase our faith and strengthen our wills, that he might shine through our acts and deeds every day. And may we one day find each other in heaven and rejoice with God. God bless you all, brothers.